Welcome to the video of Ort. Famous mitzvah in this week's Sedra. Oso ve espino. If one is slaughtering an animal, one may not slaughter the mother and the child on the same day. What is the message behind this mitzvah? There is a dispute between the Rambam and the Ramban as for the Ta'ama mitzvah, the reason, the goal, the purpose of this mitzvah. The Rambam says we are concerned about the feelings of the animal. That the animal has feelings and would feel pain and anguish and suffering witnessing its child, its offspring, uh, being slaughtered. And so therefore, out of compassion for the feelings of the animal, uh, we, we may not slaughter the mother and the child on, its, on the same day. The, Ramba, the, the Ramban, however, says that it's not about the feelings of the animal. It is entirely about the human being engaged in this action. That by not slaughtering a mother and its child on the same day, we are inculcating within ourselves feelings of uh, actions of compassion and sensitivity, even for an animal that may or may not have uh, feelings at all. The feelings of the animal are not what is significant. It is our actions of compassion and sensitivity and purging the, uh, the, the, the proclivity that we may have for cruelty, that is what is important. And we do this, by the way, every uh, week on Friday night and Shabbos day. When we say Kiddush, we cover the challah. Why do we cover the challah when reciting the Kiddush? The Rishonim explain, because we don't want to embarrass the challah by reciting the brach on the Kiddush on, on the wine first. Uh, embarrassing the challah? Really? That's what we're concerned about? And the answer is yes. By showing compassion and sensitivity to an inanimate object that has no feelings, we hopefully will inculcate within ourselves those same feelings that we will be able to show to our fellow human being. May HaKadosh Baruch Hu bless us that we can be compassionate to inanimate objects and animals as well, so that way we can then be compassionate and sensitive to our neighbors, our families, and all of humankind. Good job.